Getty. Two thirty two PM PT, Baker Mayfield, who's currently sidelined after testing positive for COVID nineteen, is bashing the league's new rules, saying, Make up your damn mind on protocols. As Baker's Browns deal with a wild COVID-19 outbreak, number 6 claims the NFL won't postpone this weekend's game due to money issues. Actually caring about player safety would mean delaying the game with this continuing at the rate it is, he added. But to say you won't test vaccinated players if they don't have symptoms, then to pull this randomly, doesn't make any sense to me. The NFL just announced drastic changes to its COVID-19 protocols, eliminating in-person meals and requiring more masks as cases surge across the league. Officials announced the moves in a memo to teams on Thursday, placing tighter restrictions on coaches and players in order to address the increase in cases and the advent of the Omicron variant. In addition to more masking and no more face-to-face -face meals, the league is also ordering teams to conduct remote or outdoor meetings, as well as ban outside visitors on road trips. NFL and NFLPA's adjusted COVID-19 protocols pick.twitter.com slash dubc 98 Ian Rappaport, at Rap Sheet, December 16, 2021 at Rap Sheet. We will continue to strongly encourage booster shots as the most effective protection, the league added in its memo. NFL officials also said they are looking into adjusting return to participation requirements for those who have recovered from COVID-19, potentially opening the door for players to see the field sooner following a positive COVID test. This all comes on the heels of the NFL seeing teams lose some of their biggest stars due to the virus, with players like Jalen Ramsey, Odell Beckham Jr. and Baker Mayfield having all been sidelined this week due to positive tests. The NFL contends that the changes it's proposing are grounded in data and backed by science, and that the safety of its players, coaches, personnel, and entire NFL community is the number one goal. Originally published, 2 p.m. PT, 